Hey guys, Jason with some important wild news for you guys. In the background I just have B-roll footage or whatever you call it of just me killing stuff in Ashran. In the background I have tons of extra mobs to kill for artifacts that she'll be turning in to help the war effort. So, bunch of release dates, so of course by now all of us know that World's Draenor set release on November 13th. So that's pretty, pretty reasonable time. So now, so now they announced the anniversary, the 10 year anniversary of WoW, which is huge, which has Core Hound, Pup, 40 Man, Molten Core, level 100 raid, and that huge 100 versus 100 Terran Mill uh, versus South Shore Battleground. So that will start on November 21st. So if I look at my calendar here, let me actually look at this closely so I don't mess this up. <laughs> So, that is about a week, yep, we have less than a week, or maybe a week and a day until the, what do you call it, from the release of Warlords to the actual release of the Celebration. And for those of you who don't, aren't caught up to speed, uh, what do you call it, the, pro the problem is is that we only have a week to level to 100 if you want the max benefits of the uh, Molten Core Anniversary Special, because it's level 100 only. The Battleground is level 90 to 99. And there's a level 100 bracket, so you don't have to rush at all for the battleground. I'm not sure whether it will give you experience, but it does give you achievements. But the good thing is the event will last to J January 6th. So that's pretty awesome. So that gives us another full month, a month and a bit more. It's like a month and a half to play around with the anniversary event. So leveling in Warlords right now isn't too hard because you have the bonus objectives. Which, while they're a lot longer than normal quests, they give you like 5 bars of XP or something crazy. Like, I remember doing one at level 90. I, I did a bonus ex, uh, bonus event and I got 5 full bars of leveling. Like, 5 exact full bars of leveling by just doing a bonus uh, quest that, did, that took me about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Then there's other ones that take even longer, but it really depends on the quest. And but I can't I couldn't really tell you exact times because on the beta some of them are really long that you should probably just skip because it's not even worth it and then some are really short and you can get a ton of XP in that short amount of time. So November 21st to January 6th is definitely definitely reasonable as far as if you just want to if you don't want to rush your leveling. But of course if you do rush to 100 you'll have to wait for everybody else <laughs> you'll have to wait for 40 more players to hit 100 so you can do your Molten Core for that Core Hound mount. And the rewards for this are awesome. They're giving you some helms uh, for completing it. You'll get a helm for whatever class you're using, which looks pretty cool. And I think it's item level 420 or something like that, or 450. It's, it's a decent item level. I forgot what item level it was. But it's an epic item, so that's pretty cool. And you get the badass Core Hound mount. Now, lastly, all unrated PvP will be open from the start. Of the release, so that means PvP battlegrounds, all the usual stuff. But rated PvP, that means rated battlegrounds and arenas, will not start till Tuesday, December 2nd. So that's pretty far off, actually. Uh, what do you call it? Not that far, but it's like two or three weeks from the release. From the release, which usually it's open the very next week. Especially, I know Raids is open the very next week, but I guess Blizzard didn't want to go with that because they threw in this anniversary special, which is kind of weird, this anniversary special. Like, it has a lot of cool stuff, but just to throw it right after the release is just very strange timing. But then again, with Blizzard, you never know. <laughs> Good old Blizzard, sneaky Blizzard. So, December 2nd, you'll be able to do all your main PvP, and same thing with uh, PvE. So, what do you call it, uh, the first raid dungeon will open up the same time as the PvP, December 2nd. And, what do you call it, so it will be normal and heroic mode. So, first is normal and heroic, and for those of you who aren't caught up to speed, normal is basically flex, that we have now, the flex mode, which is very easy, is now considered normal mode, and heroic mode is basically considered the normal mode, if you catch what I'm saying. That's what's just very weird with all these new terminologies. But basically, normal, easy, very easy, and heroic, uh, normal mode, uh, as I like to call it, will be out first on December 2nd. Then Raid Finder Mythic Mode will come out the next following week. And with Raid Finder, it's going to be one wing at a time, so it won't be the full raid of whatever raid comes. I'm not sure what raid comes first, but it won't be whatever raid. Whatever raid comes first, they'll split it up into four or five parts. So, pretty interesting news. I, I, I agree with most of it. it, it it's kind of I still feel like I kind of have to rush, but since the uh, community event is open until January 6th, 
I think I'm pretty good as far as getting to level 100. And I can definitely say that even for the average player, getting to 100 shouldn't be really too hard. Because the garrison is just really OP with some of the extra stuff that they threw in buffs into the garrison. Like, you can get... There's so many just crazy abilities right now. But beta is beta, so some of those can change. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about this or any discussions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always. Subscribe for more wild videos, and I'll see you guys next time.